Okay folks, uh, this is uh, 16th of September 2016, being hard at it, making some amendments and changes to V4.0 Opulence, the Statarb system which we just released. The big change with this cut is I've introduced something called ROC, which stands for Rate of Change, ROC, and what the ROC data does is it analyzes each time frame, so M15 all the way through to monthly, and calculates the percentage change in the moving average. So you can see here that on M5, which uh, let's just go to M5 so you can see what's going on, that is telling us that the moving average in the current chart period, which is, let's do look at some bars, so you can see that's the current chart period there, moving average is 0 0.256, and the previous bar it was 0 0.255, which is, if you calculate it, it should work out at 0.39%. So let's just do that. So to make sure that everything is present and correct. So let's just pop up a calculator here and I've got the data window open. So all I've got to do is just use the crosshairs and just so I mouse over here, read over on the left hand side and it's saying MA 0 0.0257. So 0 0.0257 and then take off subtract the last moving average which is 0 0.256 so 6 then divide it by uh, 256 and that gives us a 0 0.0039 which is 0.39 percent uh, it's actually just changed so but for the purposes of our calculations that's fine so that's how we've calculated the rate of change across the different time periods. Okay, so hopefully everyone's comfortable with that. So if we go to the daily, you can see here that on, as it calculates through, it's telling us that the daily is 2.93% stronger in terms of the moving average. So that's quite significant. And at the moment, I don't. I want to just experiment with these, these, this rate of change data. But so what I've done, and you guys can use this as you see fit. So what you can do is go to trade controls in the interface and then you see here you've got a, a range of spinners called rock threshold percentage. And what you can do is if you don't want to, to use any, you just set them all at zero. Okay, and, all, and you'll see this here, threshold, these are the thresholds that ripple through from the interface. And okay means that basically the rate of change data is greater than the threshold. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to give traders the facility to filter out weak trends. So for example, if I say, right, well, I, I, I don't want to trade anything unless the daily rate of change on the moving average for the daily is greater than, so that's at the moment it's at 2.89. If I set it at 2.9, you see that exclamation come up there and the trade mode will also change to no trade and then in brackets all come up with ROC. But at the moment we've got an active trade open so the system always defaults to auto exit search. So that's what happens there. So that's how the rate of change and the thresholds work. If I just dial the spinner down to 2.8, you can now see the threshold, the current rate of change is above the threshold. So the system has said it's okay to trade and that now you've seen these okay flags all coming up here. Other things in the update are, we, there's a couple of videos released uh, yesterday um, which I haven't added onto the daily sheet yet, they're on, on YouTube, it's to do with stationary spreads uh, and rock, locking the system into a pure stationary trading mode, there's a whole video on that. I've made a few changes and a few tweaks here and there, um, sorted out a few bugs. But this ready change information here, I think, is going to be very interesting for you guys. So um, have a play around with that. If you don't want to use it, just leave them all at zero. That's fine. Um, so in the interface, you, once again, you just set all those ready change uh, data here to zero. If you are making changes to spinners in the interface, if you are, if you key uh, data in from the, a keypad or from the keyboard, make sure you press enter because otherwise that data won't get committed. So you can type whatever you like in here, 
And then if you go on to these spinner values here, you notice that the 45, not that you can have 45 because the maximum percentage is 10, but that change isn't reflected. But if I put in 8 and then press enter, you'll see 8 is now in that threshold. Whereas if I type in, say, 7 and then start changing spinner values here, it's not making those changes, is it? See, the 7 hasn't been reflected or hasn't been rippled through. We've got our change there, which the listener has detected. But unless you press Enter, the actual spinner value won't be detected. That's when you're making in inputting manually. So anyway, there you go. That's uh, another update for you guys. Ready to roll from the license management area. Some good results being generated by by some of you guys. Um, so if, you've, if you're getting some good results, please send through your uh, equity curves. It was nice to have a look at those uh, and see see how you're doing. Any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a, give me a shout. Thanks very much.